Welcome back to 9446 Network for another diecast review. And today, we're going to be looking at Eric Jones's 2021 U.S. Air Force number 43 Chevrolet Camaro for Richard Petty Motorsports. This car, in my opinion, is really, really good and kind of underrated. I don't see too many people as of right now talking about this diecast. But I am, and this car is really awesome. I mean, this is one of the cooler Eric Jones diecasts. And while all the Richard Petty cars are really awesome, especially those Petty Blue diecasts, it's always unique when we get one that is in different kind of colors. And that's what we're gonna look at today, the US Air Force car. And this is another US Air Force car. We all remember the Bubba Wallace uh, teeth paint scheme with the teeth in the front end. This one, we have a red-nosed uh, classic airplane. I don't have the proper name for it. Um, but the paint scheme, we're going to look at. So that's, that's what you're going to want to see. So let's get to this die-cast review. So on the front end of this car, you have 43 Richard Petty Motorsports, Chevy Camaro ZL1, 1LE, and they wrapped it perfectly this time around. Uh, the U.S. Air Force symbol with the black hood. Eric Jones' name with the Chevy logos. Uh, Sunoco Goodyear NASCAR Cup Series NASCAR race car 50 years of STP Eric Jones number 43 right there the little army symbol Mac tools STP and I believe that's Columbia Sportswear I believe that is can't really see it that good the US Air Force uh, US Air Force again the impact logo and the tiny safety clean uh, decal right there U.S. Air Force Chevrolet with the rear view camera, number 43, the tail lights, of course, Z01 1LE Camaro. Um, here's nothing on the deck lid right there, it's just all red. Jones's name with the hashtag check it for Andretti logo up there. Now it's time for the paint scheme. This car is sprayed in that army gray, like battleship color, battle plane color, so that's cool. That, this is going to be a die cast, it's unique for that. Uh, so this is a standard for all the petty cars. You have the blue outline with the white number fill in for the side front and back But on the roof you have that burnt orange color, but it's actually a day glow orange uh, With the dark blue outline to it, and it looks really good or the shadow. I should say it's more like a shadow um, I really like this about the petty cars. It makes the 43 more easy to see from the uh, spotter stand uh, so that's why I really like that detail on those cars that they have them so Makes the car look kind of different, I gotta say, it looks good. Now for the paint scheme. Of course, we gotta start off with the Petty Swoosh, which is a standard, again, for all the Petty cars uh, that are made. It has the swoosh matching the colors of the sponsor. Because this is a yellow, red, and gray-looking uh, paint scheme, they have the red and yellow swoosh down the side, um, which I really like that. I really like the, the Petty Swoosh. It's iconic, and it goes well with the 43. Uh, so that have paint schemes with that detail. It's just amazing. Just it just makes the 43 car recognizable as the 43 car that swoosh. It just really iconic. It goes with it very, very well. And of course the front is red with the black splitter. And of course the front end is wrapped with the red and it has a little bit of a uh well not really an outline to it. It's just red, a red nose with the yellow striping to it, which looks very sharp with the black hood and the hood is kind of in the shape of like an airplane hood uh not necessarily a stock car hood which i do like you can see parts of this the nascar the regular hood but the shape of that uh hood is pretty much more resembling the airplane more than anything which i really like this detail of it it's very unique wrapped very accurately to that plane uh from years ago we have the back which is all red and it has a yellow stripe, which is separated a little bit from that red, a few inches or a few inches on there. An inch or five. It's, it's kind of moved away from the red. So you still have a little bit of gray to it. Very sharp. I really, really like that. Of course, the U.S. Air Force font also looks really cool with this. And of course, you have the black spoiler on the car, which also looks pretty cool on this car. I wonder how the this, this spoiler would have looked in red. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that is this die cast here, folks. The Eric Jones U.S. Air Force's car. And one thing I would have loved to see, of course, can you imagine if they painted these wheels red and had like a yellow lip to them? 
like just the red rim but the yellow lip too my god that would look awesome with this car but of course airplanes don't have wheels so there's really no wheels to replicate so they just have the black rims but can you imagine if they actually took that extra step to make the wheels color that would have been cool of course it's a gold series die cast so that's why you have the uh the black roll cage and the banners and all that stuff. There's been a lot of Gold Series releases coming out for this channel. Um, mainly because the Authentics have been really slacking off. And so we've been... I've kind of resorted to the Gold Series for a lot of these uh, releases. And this is one of them. This is one of the really... I, I have a feeling this is going to be a rare Eric Jones die cast. Um, as I give you a 360 view of it here once again. Um, I definitely get this one. I don't know if we're going to get this in Authentics... But in the past couple of years, we've been getting the Air Force car at Authentics for Bubba Wallace when he was driving this number 43. So maybe we will. We might get this in Authentics, but I got it here just in case it won't. Just in case it doesn't get made in the Authentic uh, line. So it would have been really awesome to get this with the box and the magnet and everything. But of course, uh, we don't know if we're going to get this in Authentics or not. That, there's a really big uncertainty with a lot of the cars. Especially if, especially if you're a small team like Rick Ware or any of those type of die cast. Um, so this die cast, I highly recommend getting this one. Uh, if you're an Eric Jones fan and you want to collect all the Eric Jones, get this one along with all the other ones. Uh, but if you had to pick one of all the Eric Jones, gosh, that's a hard decision to make. Which one would you get? Well, get the one that's really the most favorite. Uh, but this one here is definitely going to be in the top 10 for best die cast. I'm probably going to say that for a lot of these paint schemes, uh, but it's just, it's just the way that is. But really awesome. I really like the, these, like, like I, I've already, I already like throwback die cast as it is. So to have these type of paint schemes made, it's really cool. And it really goes well with the stock car body. I mean, it looks really cool when they have, like, other paint schemes from other types of vehicles and they put it on the stock car body and all that. You know, I really like that. Like, Jimmy Johnson's tank car, which I never got a chance to pick up. Or, like, the Alex Bowman uh, car that's coming out that looks like an airplane. That car was also really cool. Uh, so you're going to have... This car can definitely run. If they don't make the other... Uh, if they don't make the petty uh, patriotic one... If we when we get to the Charlotte race in the Flash Racing Cup, this might this definitely gonna be a car that runs in that race. I'm planning on running this car at Bristol as well for Eric Jones uh, because it just it just would look cool to see this. <laughs> I really like this car, man. This is really awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're an Eric Jones fan, um, I hope you guys are enjoying these reviews as much as I am making them. So there it is. That is the Eric Jones U.S. Air Force Chevrolet Camaro for Richard Petty Motorsports. Really, really proud of this paint scheme. Um, Richard Petty Motorsports always comes with, up with really unique designs that really pop out on the racetrack. They have paint schemes like that. We should all be grateful for it, especially now that it is made as a 164 scale NASCAR diecast and not canceled. So I really like this car. So thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe to see more diecast reviews on this 9446 channel, and we will see you guys on the next die cast review. Always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your die cast.